Why did I move to Poland? Why did I trade London, one of the capitals of the world, for Warsaw? This is one of the questions I've heard the most since moving here. And the question often seems to imply that Poland isn't a great place to live. Well, here's why I think you're wrong. I choose to live in Warsaw, Poland because it's one of the greatest places on earth. It's got an unbelievable energy and enthusiasm. It's got a great people, a first-rate culture, a moving and inspiring history, and a stubbornly resilient identity that gets to you as soon as you give it a chance. But let's go through these step by step. The basis of that energy is the economy. Over the last 30 years, Poland has undergone an economic miracle. Under communism, Poland was stifled and held back by a centrally planned command economy. But all of that changed with the political revolution of 1989, where Poland transitioned to a free market economy and became a European growth champion. Between 1992 and 2019, the Polish economy grew continuously to an average rate of 4.2% per annum. Since 1989, Polish GDP per capita has increased almost eightfold. This is undoubtedly a golden age for Poland. And given Poland's turbulent history, there is a strong case to be made that the current generation of Poles alive today is the luckiest in the last 500 years. And even though things are going well, Poles are deeply aware that there is still a lot to do and a lot to catch up with. And that motivation and drive and ambition is a very motivating thing to be surrounded by. Poland's successes over the last 30 years fill me with optimism, excitement and hope for what can be achieved over the coming three decades. Poland has gone from under the boot of the Soviet Union and from behind the Iron Curtain to integrating NATO in 1999 and joining the European Union in 2004. As Poland has grown over the last decades, so too is the entire region. The Visegrad Group is gaining in political importance and the Three Seas Initiative project reveals some of the plans that Poland and 12 other EU member states in the region have for themselves and the future. It's one of the most ambitious geopolitical projects of our time and it is slowly but surely gathering speed. Witnessing and being even a tiny, tiny part of this political and economic transformation is something really incredible. It's the people that make a place. The Poles are famous for their hospitality and their drinking. After all, this is the country where vodka was born. But the Poles are much more than just great companions on a night out. Those economic results I spoke about earlier testify to their many other character traits. The Poles are incredibly resourceful, entrepreneurial and hardworking. There's a Polish saying that says Polak potrafi, a Pole can which is all about Poles overcoming hardships and difficulties and getting things done. As Napoleon put it, there is nothing impossible to the Poles. Polish women are famed for their beauty. What is less well known, however, is that Polish women rank as the most entrepreneurial in the EU and fifth in the world. Despite its reputation as a patriarchal society, Poland actually boasts one of the lowest gender wage gaps in the whole of the EU. In short, Poles work hard and play hard. The Poles are also really in touch with nature. They often head to the forest to pick mushrooms, herbs, wild fruit and berries. But they also head to the Polish countryside because it is really beautiful and wild. There are the Tatra Mountains with the stunning Morskie Oko Lake. There is the Białowieża National Park with its European bison roaming one of the last remaining parts of the primeval forest that once stretched across the European plain. And there is the Baltic coast with its incredible moving sand dunes stretching as far as the eye can see. Poland is filled with wonder, such as the crooked forest where trees grow in a strange sea shape, and no one really knows why. There is also the Missourian Lake District, which is known as the land of a thousand lakes, which is an understatement, if anything. And there are the Bieszczady Mountains, a remote and forgotten part of the world where you can disappear and be truly at one with nature. But Poland is much more than just nature though, it's also got great art and culture which is sadly mostly unknown beyond its borders. Most people have heard about Frederick Chopin and Warsaw's International Chopin Piano Festival is world renowned, but Poland has so much more to offer than just the music of its virtuoso pianist. For example, Poland has a long but forgotten love story with jazz, from hosting German-Jewish jazzmen like Andy Rossner in the 1930s to the underground scene under communism, where jazz provided an outlet in a culturally repressed society. 
To this day, Poland has a vibrant but largely unknown jazz scene. Poland is home to numerous renowned international works such as Leonardo's Lady with the Ermine, Memling's Last Judgment or several Rembrandts, but few internationally are aware about the local art and Polish artists. One of my favourite periods is Young Poland, which saw visionaries such as Mehofer, Malczewski, Boznańska or Wyspiański create a distinct and uniquely Polish style at the beginning of the 20th century. Poland also has a great food and drink culture. Though mostly known for its vodka, Poland is actually one of Europe's largest beer producers. And in recent years, there's also been a revival in Polish winemaking. Like I said, Poles are a really hospitable people, and their traditional food reflects their national character, their history, but also their weather. Warsaw, the capital. Perhaps I should have started with this place because it's where I live. At first glance, it's an architectural mess that's dominated by various shades of grey. But once you get to know it, it's so much more than that. It's got great cafes, it's got hidden jazz clubs, it's got amazing speakeasy cocktail bars, and it's got a really beautiful old town. Amongst the brutalist architecture, there are numerous gems that remind us of a more glorious past. But what makes Warsaw a truly great city is that it is a labour of love. After the Warsaw Uprising in 1944, this city was razed to the ground. It was not meant to exist. But after the war, the Poles returned and they rebuilt it, brick by brick. They rebuilt it because they loved it. And that love makes this place great. That love and that history is visible everywhere. And Polish history is something that deeply fascinates me. If I were to resume the essence of the last few centuries of Polish history, I would say that it is the relentless pursuit of freedom. It is not Poland's national tragedies that define it. Rather, it is this nation's courage in the face of evil and its resistance to totalitarianism that do. Centuries of oppression and the atrocities of war did not break the Poles. Rather, it strengthened them in their pursuit of individual liberty and national independence. On a much more personal note, the reason I'm in Poland is a love story. Though unlike for many others who've moved here, the object of my fascination was not a local, but Poland herself. As a third culture kid, I was raised in multiple countries, speaking multiple languages and juggling between multiple identities. I spent my entire life feeling at home everywhere and nowhere. I've truly wrestled between these various identities. As a young boy, I was read the works of Adam Mickiewicz, Poland's national poet, and one of his verses really stuck with me, though I never fully understood the line. And said Poland, whoever comes to me shall be free and equal, for I am freedom. After five years of living in Poland, I still don't fully understand that line. But I know that my love for this country and this people has changed, it's matured. I'm no longer here because of a strange quirk of fate. I'm here out of a conscious and rational decision. This is home. So there you have it. These are some of the reasons that I moved to Poland. And if all of that is just talked to you, then come and see it for yourself and then we'll know. Do zobaczenia w Polsce.